All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another deck critique, a standard deck critique here on uh, YouTube or Twitch, wherever you're watching. And uh, this is actually suggested by one of my one of my patrons uh, on Patreon. Uh, I have a forty dollars tier <clears throat> where every month you get to choose a deck, and I will play it. And you'll also get all the other perks below that as well. And you'll also get access to the the Twitch Discord channel, the subscriber Discord channel. So. Uh, yeah, this was uh, this was actually submitted by Jake P, uh, and it's it's Sultai, so it's right up my alley. But it's got a lot of the mono green deck components to it. So we have like Lenor Elves into Steel Leaf Champion, or Thrashing Brontodon. <clears throat> we have Karns, we have Vraskas, uh, we have the Scarab God, we have a Galta, um, <clears throat> Supreme Wills, Project X. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. We have Merfolk Branchwalkers, Fatal Push, Hearts of Kirin, and uh, the full set of Raskas Content. I like the deck looks sweet. Like I, I like a lot of the, the components in the deck. Um, one thing I initially want, because <clears throat> I don't know if Thrashing Bronton on is that... I don't know how strong Thrashing Bronton on is in the main deck in metagames that don't have a ton of artifacts and enchantments. Um, but one thing I do like is maybe Jade Light Ranger, because I think that card is great. Um... I think if you can reliably cast this guy in modern, maybe it's good enough. It's a 3 5, five 4 for 3. It's just a insane stats. Um, in the sideboard, we have the 3 negates. I thought I switched these to good negates, but I think I reloaded the deck. Um, one plummet and three crushing canopies. That is a lot of... <clears throat> that is a lot of flying removal. Um, especially considering... I guess I guess you're just afraid of Lyra's, but this is also nice because it can destroy enchantments. Which makes me wonder if the three thrashing Bronthons in the main deck are still worth it, because that's six ways to deal with enchantments. That's a lot. And I think enchantments you're more worried about than artifacts, considering you have like Search for Us Kanta, Anonia Procession, Cast Out, Exelon's Binding, Seal Away, stuff like that. Um, three Knight of Malice, which is pretty okay. Uh, fatal, two more Fatal Push to, full, to round out the Sweet. Three Negates, which I'm just a fan of always. One Meldrotha, which is great, but I don't, I'm not really sure what to bring this in against. Um, and another Blossoming Defense to bring us up to two. I'm a big fan of this card. I think it's a great counter spell, quote unquote, in the green deck. <clears throat> and I might actually even want to run, run more in the main deck here, but. We'll see. Uh, two Supreme Will and two Syncopates are counter spells for us, which is nice. But uh, I'm curious to see how this deck does because I actually have no idea. So let's <clears throat> let's give it a go. Nope. Let's not enter a modern queue. That would be that would be tragic. Well, if we have Land War Elf in our opening hand, I would also be hoping for Steel Leaf Champion in our opening hand as well. <clears throat> Guardian Links, are you Jake? I can't tell because you're Spectral Links on Discord, so I just want to make sure... Um, I want to. I want. I'm just trying to check and see if you're you're all the lynxes. If I see a lynx in the in the wild, if if it, if that's you. Also, I bit my tongue two days ago, and it's it's more irritated now than it was yesterday, which is really sad. I will play first. <clears throat> we did not get a land or elf in our opening hand, nor did we get a second land. So, hand goes back. I'll keep this hand. I'll bottom you. No mics today. Mike, uh... What's up, Jake? Good seeing you. Glad I was able to deduce that you were, uh... A Guardian Lynx rather than a Spectral Lynx today. Uh, what are the chances of Soul Ring ever getting printed in a standard legal set again? Uh, zero. Actual zero. Guys, I'd like to discuss with you, uh... What just happened? <clears throat> because it's very magical. It's, uh, we just drew this off the top. One throbbing... What's a, what's a tune, Kerwit? Ker what's a tune? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, God, they're gonna do the same thing. No, they did a less impressive... Oh, my God, mismatching Land of War Elves. You need to just get right on out of here with that, buddy. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. <clears throat> this is where they go giant growth block, right? <clears throat> the funny thing about this uh, combination, this series of moves here, is that the odds of them actually having a way to deal with this is really low. <clears throat> What up, Swag? Oh, a resilient Kenra. <clears throat> I would love to not have... Oh, wow, this guy's getting real big. This guy's getting swole. Still, none of these guys can block this guy, so I'll just take five here. Can we draw? Either a thing we can play or a... <sighs> oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. I can't imagine a situation where they can kill us here, so. Dude, 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 dude. We're going to put them to five here. So that we have very, very, uh, Several means of, of, of killing. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds so dark. Several means of killing. Oh god, here we go. Oh, look at that. It's all ruined. It's all for nothing. I mean, if we just draw a second black source, we win the game, right? Unless they have Blossoming Defense as one of their last cards. And there are no creatures in the grip. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, so close. So close. I can't... One, I can't spell, Buck. <laughs> Kurt, I want to thank you for the consistent... Uh, the consistent comedy you provide here. What's the... What's the play here, my man? <clears throat> now I have to survive next turn, which is actually harder. I guess we can attack with everything. They have to, they actually have to trade, which is very good for us because we can just get the dude back. Yeah, that's actually great. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to tap you. We're going to do one of these jobbies, and then when this guy dies, we'll just eat your guy. And then we have the win on the board, like... Heart of Kieran's a hell of a thing. It's so funny because Heart of Kieran's down to like three dollars in standard in uh, in paper, but online it's still like twenty three tickets, and I'm just like, this is a ridiculous price for this card. And the game hath ended. All right, so you're just playing a bunch of green nerds. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure Fatal Push and Knight of Malice is also probably pretty good. Maybe no, maybe not. I don't know. Um, Bronto Dawn. Probably not great here. I almost like the Muldratha, but I don't actually know why. That's the question I'm asking myself. Also, I am concerned. We only have eight sources of black mana. I am concerned at the, the the frequency. We're going to have two two of eight black mana to to play Vraska's Contempt here. As you can see, it was pretty easy to cast a Vraska or a Scarab God because it's easy to get one of each of these, but not not both. Is that a Karn? He's right here. What are you talking about? Oh, a 14-card sideboard. Boy, you done messed up. That's okay. This is Again, this is why I like not doing the leagues, because we can easily fix this after the first round. If I was stuck in a league, you'd be stuck with 14-card sideboard for the whole thing. And that doesn't make any sense. Let me check the Discord to make... I'm going to see if... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, that is also 14. You you done messed up, A.A. Ron. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! I'm just going to submit like this. I think this is fine against this deck. <laughs> okay, this format's ridiculous, dude. That's not what, that's not what you're looking for. We do want a black mana, but we also want spells, so we're in this awkward mid mid area. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Outside of this, our hands is uh, really interesting. I was hoping you wouldn't kill my guy. And then you. Oh, perfect. Gorgeous. Every game with this guy. This is not. This is a. This is an unreasonable card, I think, in standard, dude. They're gonna play their own. They're gonna add a green because they have to. And then they're gonna crew and attack us for a million. And we're gonna top deck a swamp, or a wooded snoot hills. It's a botanical sanctum. It's not the same, but we can still push this, so that's good. I don't know why I didn't attack with the elf here. It's mostly because I'm not good at magic and I forget things, but, you know. Other than that, seems fine. <clears throat> sure. All right, well, we're going to kill one. And what I'd like more than anything is a black mana source. Oh, why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? So we take eight next turn. Good lord, we put them to nine. Ugh. Actually, we can block. Yeah, we can just block this guy. That's actually really good. We can block this guy and then uh, fatal push their steel leaf overseer, steel leaf champion. Steel Leaf Overseer. <laughs> oh, I just made myself laugh. We have a good time. I did get what I wanted. You're not wrong. All right, that was. I mean, as far as what you can get off adventurous, adventurous impulse, this is probably the best. Cause you're the best around. Oh, interesting. This is an interesting choice here. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, I won't be blocking your guy, for obvious reasons. A Steel Leaf Overseer is 5-4 uh, that taps to put a 1-1 one -one counter on all your elves. It's very good. It's basically broken. Heart of Kieran's. Black source again. Dang it. I guess we got greedy. Keep on attacking. Keep on holding. <laughs> Do we want a fatal push that heart of Kieran? Do they have a blossoming defense in hand? That is the question. The number of emails I get for updating privacy policies is unbelievable to me. Yeah, I think if we if we're if we're not winning this game, it's because we don't have enough black to do both of these things. I know they have blossoming defense, and it's going to be such a blowout. Yep. That's the end. I mean, the alternative is that we um, we just trade, and then we have nothing on board. So, um, 
Yeah, we can't do it in the middle of a match, guys. We can't add lands in the middle of a match. <clears throat> we will definitely be adding black. That is, uh, we've, we've figured it out. Um... I do like a negate here. I don't think we want multiple negates. Like, they don't have that many spells, but Heart of Kirin is a spell, and so is Blossoming Defense. Negate in the opening hand. Syncopate. Uh, I'm still going to keep this hand, because, boy, was Black Man ever an issue for us. <clears throat> Plus, we're just going to draw a Steel Leaf Champion on top, so it doesn't matter. This ain't no uncommon cube, you're right. Which is why it says standard right in the description, good sir. Hinterland Harby. It's probably better to play Hinterland Harbor here, but I wanted to play all three marsh blooming marshes so they come into play untapped, but we probably just want to keep Syncopate up at some point. Botanical Sanctum. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Fashionably uh, on time to the party, I guess. This is actually nice because because of the elf attack, we're actually putting them to 15, which is three hits from the overseer. Oh, you're just going to... A braid. Sure. It does say uncommon cube, but there is an order to the things it says. So, you can't complain that it's not one thing when it literally says three things. And as long as it's one of those three things, it's really fine. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to get rid of you. That feels good. So, they have five cards. We have two cards. So... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we put them to six, or we put them to seven, and then we put them to one, so they actually get an extra turn. But we can syncopate whatever they might have here. Never. <clears throat> one blossoming defense off the top. That's not it. That's pretty good, because it leaves you enough mana to pump and then double block. That was a good draw. Not going to lie. Okay, I paid the black. So let's actually attack first. <clears throat> uh, if they go to pump this guy, then we'll kill it, because that's going to tap them out. But I guess it doesn't matter. Obviously, I know you're kidding, David. See you in the trash can. Good day to you, sir. All right, so the one thing we definitely need is a 15th sideboard card. Uh, because Jake doesn't know how to he doesn't know how to do math, which is sad because, you know, it's I, I blame the public education system. And I think we have we have 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 lands that come into play untapped on turn 1 for Llanowar Elf. Yeah, we can easily add swamps. I think two is actually fine. I think 14 lands that I'm going to play untapped is just fine on turn one. Plus, like... Hour? What's hour? Hour? Oh, what is... 
is the last sideboard card. I might just want another Blossoming Defense. Hour of Glory? No, it's it, being able to get rid of Planeswalkers is really relevant. I was thinking of Hour. I'm like, Hour of Promise? That doesn't even make any sense. Um, I like Blossoming Defense a lot here. I like Jade Light Ranger in the main deck, but I mean, like, actually, we'll put like we'll, we'll put one Brontodon on the side. We'll put two Brontodons in the sideboard. <clears throat> we'll take out a Plummet. I don't think we need four ways to deal with flying creatures, and I think Crushing Canopy is significantly more versatile. And I think we're gonna put Jade Light Ranger in the main. It just gives us another really strong card to play on turn turn two if we get a Land of War Elf. Maybe an approach to the second sun. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that's good. Solid, solid suggestion there. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, uh, I think I think two extra swamps can get around it. Like we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten is ten blue, ten black sources is better. But I mean, we'll see. We'll see how that does. But like the the I think the we won the game. We won the game. So what what possible problem could we have? I was literally just clicking on deck lists. I'm like this one, this one, no, this one. Yes, I will play first. Oh boy, I love Steel Leaf Champion. It's probably my favorite card. This could actually be the God Hand. See you at the crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. See you at the crossroads. This guy. So if we draw a green, can we go Heart of Kieran, activate Galta? Yeah, we can. That's pretty good. Uh, Mikey Hopkins, can you... Uh, have you not checked out my YouTube channel where I post modern videos regularly? Because I've been doing that for about five months now. Yeah, so we can just go Heart of Kieran. We missed some damage, but five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we can just play for two. I think against a blue deck, I'd rather do that. This is a lot of power on board on turn uh, turn three. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Must be late to the party. All of a sudden. Yeah, I've been making content for the past uh, about six months now still. Oh, I see. Well, let's hope we draw one of those black manas that we were... Uh... Well, that is not it, as you can imagine. All right, so black mana is still an issue with Vraska's Contempt, unfortunately. How can... They're never going to be able to cast that, though, right? So we have time. Is YouTube a command? I think I made YouTube a command. What up, Chef Snake? Bronto Don. So we lose Heart of Karen and uh, we lost our Galta. Our opponent thinks they're so fancy. I want to play that. Hello, YouTube me. Uh, what did we get? Oh, you have no idea how much I wanted this Woodland Cemetery. Joke's on you, buddy. One, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this guy costs, what, six? So if they draw a land, they can just cast Galta, which is pretty disgusting. Maybe they don't know that, though. Hmm. 
Benefaction of Veronis. For the top five cards, you can put a creature and an enchantment from them into your hand. That's interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think they can cast an Alta here. I'm really uncomfortable right now. Oh! Oh, that's so much better. Okay, good. Now I get to kill the hostage taker. Woo! Uh, I am not testing for the PT. I have not been qualified for quite some time, and uh, I like it that way. And also, I guess there's no also. This guy's going to die now. Wow, it sounded so dark when I said it like that. This guy must die now. Um, I'll crew with the big, big. And we'll just get in there with these guys. No blocks. All right. They're at six. Woo. Oh, uh, it's not. It doesn't matter if it's double green. That's not how hostage taker works. Hostage taker says you can spend mana as though it was any color because like you, you can't. If you take something and you just can't cast it because you're not playing those colors, that doesn't make any sense. That's a terrible design. Fatal Push Code, they had Brontodon, they had they had Branch Walker. Yeah, probably. That big old dino just hopped in a spaceship. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's pretty okay. I don't know how much we need Blossoming Defense. What did they get rid of our our Karn with? Was it Vraska's Contempt? Activated Karn. No, it was a it was a return, never return. Okay. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Would you play the black in limited? Yes, 100%. I would play the black blade with one legendary creature. It doesn't matter. If you get to seven mana, you win the game with it. It, you, it can't be beaten. Can I do you a favor and lend you an island? Oh, uh, and, uh, I was like, you know, islands are probably like 0. .0001 cents on Magic Online. I bet you can just pick one up. I don't think you really need one. Um, I don't actually know what to bring in here. Take out the Brontodon. Probably a negate. I imagine negate's pretty reasonable here. See you at the crossroads. Oh, I have crossroads stuck in my head. Oh my god, these hands, guys. These hands, dude. Never doesn't have it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think being legendary is relevant for the uh, for the Black Blade Unlimited because it's just very very strong. Like it, it's expensive if you don't put on a legendary guy, but then you're you're playing it for seven mana, which usually means your guy's getting plus seven plus seven, and that kills literally anything. Your creature either becomes an abyss. It means it means every creature is is an insane threat at that point in the game, and and, and Dominaria Limited goes to seven very very regularly, so. I was like, buddy, if you kill my elf, we are going to have some words. They didn't, though. Every game with this guy. Hungry Howie's hooking you up with their new steel leaf crust. <laughs> oh, gas. My god. I think every deck in standard is good when they can consistently turn to a uh, steel leaf champion. That's like some modern shit right there. Well then. This hand is very good. Um, so the question is, do we just double Steel Leaf Champion? This is where they, they block and they Fatal Push, which is a two for one, and that's fine. Or they didn't, they didn't no block, okay. We could Branch Walker and Heart of Kieran.
I think we're just steel leafing here. Oh, so it sounds like Steel Leaf Dan. Welcome to the Howie Brood. That's actually pretty funny. This is a lot of Llanowar Elves for the opponent, but less, less Steel Leaf Champions. None of these guys are able to block these Steel Leaf Champions. I guess we just get in there. <laughs> I mean, I assume you have Fatal Push or Blossoming Defense at this point. Still doesn't put us that far behind. Okay, that guy just died. He just died. Oh, yeah, put you on top. You're fine. Oh, I guess we can play this land, right? Boom. Boom, boom. It's not looking good for our opponent. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Yeah, I don't know if I like the Vraska's contempt. I, I think it's I think it's <sighs> this mana base does not Steel Leaf Overseer and Vraska's contempt is a greedy combination. Um maybe Aether Hub could be good. Hungry Howie's is a pizza chain in the United States. United States pizza chain. What are you going to do? Nothing? Well, I'll be honest with you. It's not looking great for you. I'm going to play this guy. And if we hit a thing, we can crew. Wow, all the branch walkers on top. Okay, well, that's good. I'm just going to alpha here. Presumably, you're going to block here and sack, which means this guy gets through, so. Boop, 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 boop. And I can't imagine your Dusk Legion Zealot is not blocking uh, the 3-2 rather than the 1-1, one, one, so. What? Okay, so block, block, sacrifice to kill, and then you take six and go to three. And because I drew two of everything this game, two, 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 two. I feel like they're in bad shape. I don't want to, I don't want to be presumptuous here. But they might be in bad shape. We won the game. All right. So far, this deck's looking pretty good, except for the fact that... I'm going to cut Averaska's Contempt and just add another Karn. I think that's an easier four drop to play. And I like being able to refill our hand in this deck. What else deals with Planeswalkers and Creatures? That is black or blue or green. What is it? What is this card? I am not content with my contempt contents. Jade Light instead of Vraska's Contempt? Those don't do the same thing. Never return cost two black. We're trying to not play a, a two black spell, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what's another card other than Vraska's Contempt that we can cast more easily with the, that doesn't have a high as high a black requirement? Oh, never return. I didn't think about that. Good, good, good. Good talk.
Uh, I like Glen, Glen Sleeve Siphoner. I also like Aether Hub. But then we're just turning this into... Um, like, Sultite Energy. Which I'm not really trying to do. I don't think Steven's... I don't think uh, Jake's trying to do that either. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. Cast down. I mean, like, I, I, I don't feel, I don't see, I don't think cast down is any better than fatal push. I'd rather just have more fatal push. Hmm. Cast out is white. We're not playing white. You guys are a bunch of Ralph Wiggums today. I'm going to be honest with you. You need a card that deals with Planeswalkers? What about Cast Out? Uh, that's a white card. What about Never Return? That's double black. That's what we're trying to avoid. <laughs> All right. Well, this is good. This is good. This is working well. You guys are having, we're having a good time. All right. Um, I like the extra Karn. I don't think Four Vraska's Contempts is where we want to be. Do we just add more black? I kind of like Sky Sovereign. That's actually not a bad idea. I commit to memory works, but I think it's I just hate the card. I think it's a bad card. Counterspell. <laughs> God, I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. Pretty, 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 pretty. <laughs> what about Hero's Downfall? Oh, crying out loud! I don't like. Okay, a spyglass is is good, but it's probably going to be in the counter in the in the sideboard. We're never going to play spyglass in the main deck. Uh, I'm also not super concerned with planeswalkers. It's not like oh my god, I have to answer these planeswalkers or else we die. It's just a matter of having the versatility of like Vraska's contempt in the deck. Like it's very very nice. But on the other hand, we do have a lot of creatures that are that are uh, strong enough to get through. Uh, Yawgmoth's File Offering seems pretty hard to get. We're just gonna have, like, these eight guys. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright. Number keeps going up, so I'm interested. I don't hate one Yawgmoth's File Offering, but... Like, we just, like, crew Heart of Kieran, play Yawgmoth's File Offering. That's not terrible. I want to play one Yawgmoth's File Offering. I don't know if it's gonna be good. Get another Vraska's contempt. Um, I'm, I'm honestly, I think the deck seems cool. Like, I'm having a hard time. Like, as long as I'm drawing these, I want to, I want to play some games where I don't draw. Turn one elf into turn two Steel Leaf Champion. I mean, I don't actually want to. I don't actually want to have those games, but I do want to see how they go. Because I think that's what you need to know. How do the games that I don't draw these cards go? That's the question. Well, this hand is bad, but not actually it's dance actually not terrible. I will keep it. So we can go Branch Walker into like Woodland Cemetery. And then if we draw any untapped land, we get to play Karn on turn three. It's pretty good. I see. Oh, that was a good draw. Oh, that was a good draw. Do we just Nissa for one? I think we just Nissa for one. We can't Nissa for one. We don't have the mana for that. That's sad. I'll play you instead. That was a good draw too, because now we just play that next turn. 
Now all our lands come into play untapped. Beautiful, beautiful. Settle and chart went to the graveyard. I mean, this seems clearly like a God Pharaoh's gift deck, but with no creatures in the graveyard, I'm very curious. All right, one creature. What is happening right now? So Sanctum comes down. Do we just Karn or do we Nissa here? Hmm. Probably Karn, right? Nissa only gets better with age. Oh, give me a, they're going to give me the Fatal Push, I think, because they don't know we have a Heart of Kirin. So that's pretty cool. And this is like a fine wine. So, get rid of these guys. I don't want a Heart of Cairn right now. Oh, they're going to give me a Woodland Cemetery. Okay. It's a lot of lands here, just in case you guys didn't know about the lands. They have one mana up right now? What did they do? They charted a course and then discarded a God Pharaoh's gift? They only have Lyra in the graveyard. It's happening right now. Are they gonna f are they gonna f what's the word? Fumigate? Fulminate? Re refurbish? Refurbish, that's the one we're looking for. One, two, three, four, five. So Lyra's a four four. We can fatal push it. One, two, three. So we can actually just keep a black up and I'm gonna add a blue though, because that seems relevant to to casting Nissa. Uh, bottom you and the top you. Fumigate, fulminate, watergate? What's the word? What are we looking for here? Yeah, that's fine. You only have one creature in your graveyard. How does that not work? What? Why does she have the casting cost? It's not a token? What? How does that not work? I don't understand how Magic the Gathering works anymore. I no longer understand anything. Life's hard. I don't care anymore. Why does magic work the way it does? That's scary. I'm not a big fan of that. They don't need to have Lyra's. Thank you. So, still no creatures? Oh, this guy. Sure. That's fine. Is the sub count coming correct? What does that mean? I think so, yeah. 99 Knives, thank you so much for the 11 months. Really appreciate it. Greetings from India. I'm glad you're streaming earlier so I can actually catch you before bed. Now, that's... I'm okay with this. All right, we're going to pop out the graveyards here. Angel, angel. Seems good. Where are my Brontodons now? Where are my Brontos at? Let 
Lenoir Elf into the hand. Sure. Well, that's not doing us any favors here. Crew three. Yeah, I don't foresee Karn winning this. I don't see us winning this. Ugh, Angel of Invention. Such a beating. Not sure it's worth sacrificing the heart of Kieran for that, but I, I think we're actually like I, we're pretty far behind here. There's also a lot of lands. We got Mexico, Denmark, Australia, and India. That's pretty sweet, actually. All right, well, that's not gonna do it against six six five five. Yeah. Okay, so now all the Bronto Dons and. Uh, can we go to the next game? There we go. <laughs> I was like, can we, can we end this? All right. So Fatal Push actually not as good. That's unfortunate. Destroy an enchantment, Bronto Don. This is your moment to shine, buddy. Uh, Negate's probably coming in. Don't care about Blossoming Defense. Bring in Negate. Um... I watched the new at the number YouTube stream last night. I wish it was for, Oh man, that's a great that's a great compliment. I appreciate you saying so. I'm gonna take out branch walkers for good cards. Not that they're not good, but they are uh they're not gonna do what we want to do. I think we just want two negates and two more canopies. Two more OP one Obi Wan canopies. I will play first. All right. Do it again. Keep it up. Oh, uh, I probably will be seeing Solo, yes. Um, I don't know how high my hopes are for it, I'll be honest. I have enjoyed most Star Wars movies that have come out just for the fun of them. I don't think they're fantastic films. I don't think they're groundbreaking. But they've been fun. And uh, that's good enough, I think. The one time it wasn't a Steel Leaf Overseer. So they can't do anything next turn, so we'll just play Heart of Kieran. Let's can you guys in chat do me a favor and never uh never encourage pernicious dude because boy just don't. He's he's actually a monster and uh I you know I just think he has all you fooled. So
Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening with this hand? Crew by you. I'm gonna wait till they discard something good, then we're gonna crew Heart of Karen and we're gonna Yogmoss Vile Offering. I also like um I also like Heart of Karen and Vile Offering because you can actually kind of protect this a little bit more. It's harder for them to uh Oh god, trust me, 350 subs, no one wants this. Also, that was just a joke. Pernicious he was good people. He is definitely a funny guy. A funny guy. <sighs> 350 subs is a lot of food. I agree with you. I would not recommend anyone eating 350 subs in any in any in any sitting. Still no dudes in your graveyard. I don't understand what's going on here. Where are them dudes at? That's a dude. Let me reveal them creds. Heart of Kieran and a Karn. Yeah, I'm just going to be a Heart of Kieran. That's fine. Yep, you got it. I was afraid they were going to seal away and then on their turn refurbish and get this guy back immediately. That'd be pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, isn't that special? Doh. Okay, that's fine. What was the other card? A second Karn? Sure, we'll reveal. Good lord, what did they not give me that time? Crushing Canopy? Oh, we're getting that bad boy next turn, that's for sure. That's for true. One dollar, one why you gotta be so rude, Buck? I hate you so much, David. <laughs> we didn't actually just kill this guy because they can just get them back next turn and the only thing we can get back is a Champion of Wits, but Champion of Wits might be worth getting back. So, you know, I don't know. We also have a vile offering that we can just use. We can kill it and get back literally just Champion of Wits. That's pretty rude. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do. So now we're probably going to do it. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. But this does mean they're going to champion of wits and put some guys in the graveyard. So they're also at four. So as long as we get rid of Angel of Sanctions, it's pretty good. Like Heart of Kieran just eats their face. Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna... I hate you guys so much. Um, it's it's really weird because you guys are big, big supporters of my, my stream and my content, but... You know, then you go getting that getting that song stuck in the head and it's just it's all downhill from there, man. Well, 
Oh, one at old Carn Boy. I'll block because I want to be able to crew and get Crushing Canopy. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have we don't have seven mana yet. We don't have eight mana. Eight mana is the sweet spot. Give me my can of pee. Can of pee? That sounds terrible, right? Uh, one, two, three. Let's see if this works. You have a negate, because of course you do. Still have to block. Seems fine. If only these one of these lands came into play untapped, that's what we want. Because then we can be able to play this guy and keep up a land. One can of pee buck. Wow, you guys are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just incredible. Hmm. So you're going to try to get this guy back. But we have this guy, so I'm not too concerned about it. Unless you have another refurbish in hand, but there's no other... God Pharaoh's Gift is a heck of a card. The problem is if we like destroy it, they just if they have another refurbish in hand, they just get it back. But there are two refurbishes in the graveyard. It's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're still one mana shy of being able to play both of these in the same turn. Also, post combat, they can Archangel of Sanctions. Uh, I am familiar with Dix. Yeah, I uh, I never went to Dix myself, but I uh, I knew it was one of the more popular burger chains in Seattle. And by burger chains, I mean burger places where there are more than one location. What up, Zaxor? What is happening here? Ixalan's binding. Sure. Targeting Heart of Kieran. Uh-huh. So we lose Karn. We can't let them get anything back, though, so we do have to kill this before... before, before combat, otherwise... So, I guess we just play Steel Leaf Champion here. And that, maybe? One, two, three. Yeah, put you on top twice. That seems good. One, one, two, three. All right. Well, see what they got. I know I said yesterday was the only day you were going to keep it open, but today is definitely the day. All right, Dan. I appreciate it. We'll be doing a Dominaria draft today, so. You're just going to hard cast another God Pharaohs? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you have that? Uh, we can't play Heart of Kieran. They have Ixalan's Binding in play. <clears throat> Also, without a way to crew this, it's not a legendary creature, so we can't... Like, there's multiple reasons why that plan doesn't work. Heart of Kirin is not a legendary creature unless it's crewed. And Yagmoth's Vile Offering does not care about legendary artifacts, so... So... 
what we're going to do here, one, two, three, four, five, we're going to Nissa for three. Done. Scry. Keep you on top, and I'll bottom you for some reason. And we're going to win the game very, very quickly. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how to tell you this, but I opened two cards last night. I feel terrible. It never happened again, I promise. We'll see. We'll see, buddy. We'll see. Oh, Switzerland. Remaker. Thank you so much for, for uh, watching from Switzerland. That's pretty sweet. Appreciate it. Fumigate. Sure. I mean, I have a Nissa on board, which is pretty good for us. Oh, you just got to... How did you... Oh, because of the angel. Sure. Yeah, that's how that works, I guess. Magic's hard. All right, back up to 14, I see. Seriously? Sure, dude. <laughs> Never didn't have everything. All right, seems good. Could we have ultimate Nissan one that way? I don't see how because they had a six six lifelink angel, and we would have made two five five lands, right? I can't imagine that would have worked. They still had Angel of uh, Angel of Invention on board, which is what we killed with the Ogmos bargain. Am I wrong? One twenty-three because it's no ordinary dollar; it's a foil dollar. Keep on keep on streaming on, Dingus Egg. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, vile offering is one of in the main. We're actually just we're testing this for someone else, so we just it was just an addition we made. Um. Yeah, I don't know how we could have won there. Like, that would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could have played her for eight, sure, uh, and then made two five fives, but, like, this was in play. I don't, like, we kind of have to kill the six six lifelink or else they just kill one land, gain six, take five. So they actually net a life by doing that, right? I just want to make sure I'm not missing something. Can't stand these old. Well, the lifelink and the six, the six six flying blocker as well because they're at ten. So I feel like uh, or eight. You know they were at they were at more than five. So uh, we don't we have. I mean like, I mean we have cards that deal with their artifacts. Brontodon specifically. The only thing I don't like about Brontodon is that it doesn't. Um, like, you can deal with it before. Like, if I'm if I'm going to play an artifact or an enchantment, like, okay, cool. I'll get rid of your Brontodon first, then I know it's safe. I don't think that one matchup really, really warrants the inclusion of, like, something like Sentinel Totem, which is pretty narrow. I think the card's fine, but I don't think, like... One thing you don't want to do is, like, skew your deck uh, to beat the, the last deck you lost against, because that's, that's not super uh, efficient. But dredge. But think of the little dredglings. Um, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, like you have Scarab God decks and you have other decks. Uh, why two mans over a league? Because uh, we get to make changes in between the decks, and uh, it's just a better format than playing five rounds with the same deck, being stuck in stuck in a league with for five rounds with the same deck.
Because if I'm trying to test the deck, I'd rather get like I'd rather be able to be like, oh, this card doesn't work, this card does work. And also, like Jake actually submitted the deck with with 14 card sideboard. Um, so if we actually played in a league, we would just have 14 card sideboard for five rounds, which doesn't really help anyone, you know. So like if you're if you're trying to test the deck and tweak it, um, it's better to actually play around, see what works, play around, see what works, and then make changes in between, so they actually know if the changes are working or if they will work, you know. So uh, I don't like this hand. I like this hand a lot more. So yeah, I've I've liked the league format a lot better, or the uh, the the two man format a lot better, and it seems like a lot of people do as well from like YouTube and Twitch comments. So, Bojo, what are you saying right now? Are you drunk? He's totally drunk. God, he always does this. I'm like David, just don't drink before the stream because it makes you super awkward, and he does it anyway. Remaker, love your draft videos. Hope you open a car in one day, but for now, it's a it's a good meme. It is a good meme. You are right. It is definitely a good meme. We're gonna do we're gonna do a, uh, a dominaria draft today. Uh, the uncommon cube is up, so we'll be doing that too. But um, I'll probably get in a draft of each today. Uh, if you five o two mens, is the value the same? Uh, probably not. But I'm not doing it for the value. You know, like I'm doing it for. It's better for... I, I, I'm not trying to profit off of people. People have, have commissioned me for doing decks, you know? Um, so, like, I'm not trying to profit off of, like, off of my critiquing of their deck. Because that seems bad. You know, if it costs me a little more to play in, in two mans than it does in... Uh, what do you call it? What are the odds this Jade Light Ranger resolves? It's got to be zero, right? Um, yeah, I'll just keep this on top twice. I'm okay with it. Oh, I like it. What are we doing right now? What are we doing? Well, we're playing a Karn, that's for sure. What do we got here? Oh, a Vraska and a land. All right. Or actually, it's two lands, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how revealed cards work. Probably two lands was the, what was revealed. All right, nine-second video. Let's see what this is. Does he not say bozo? I thought he said bozo. He says bojo? That doesn't even make any sense. We have all the colors of the wind. We're like Pocahontas up in here. Oh, what do you give me? Probably car number two, right? Jade Light Ranger. Wow. 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 They're going to combo off at the end of our turn. They're going to go spell, 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 spell. One of them is going to be, two of them are going to be counter spells. That was not a counter spell. Burner, 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 burner. What's got to have four counters on it? All right, here's one. One counter down. 
I didn't know there was an echo. That's weird. I don't know how to stop the echo. I don't know how to stop anything. Actually, no, I'm, I'm, my volume's pretty low, so I can imagine why it would echo through the... I can, I can imagine it echoing through the speakers, but my volume's super low, so... Hour of Devastation. Well, Karn still lives, so that's pretty good. So I guess just untap, activate Karn, and Vraska your, your amulet away? That seems pretty good. I mean, I just, fingers crossed you don't have a spell pierce here, because that would be QQ City. <gasps> no shenanigans for you, buddy. What are the... Um, I'm actually going to negative to get another Karn, because I think that's stronger. I think it's stronger to have the Karn in your hand than... Uh... Who was my favorite magic artist? That's a good question. Um, that's actually a very easy question. Uh, Magali V. She does the um she does a lot of amazing art. <laughs> She's amazing. She did Leovold. She did as Kanta. Search for as Kanta. Who's my favorite Power Ranger? Um probably the Green Ranger. Thank you. Joe, Joe, and KE, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Oh, wow. I like what's happening here. I am a fan. Need the numbers tightening up, but it's getting there. I like it. Look, they're playing your fave from Dominaria. <laughs> How dare you, Zaxor? How dare you? Favorite TV series? Um, I don't... Okay, so here's the funny thing. I don't think my favorite TV series is Breaking Bad, but I've watched it the most. I've watched Breaking Bad like five times in total. Um, I think my favorite TV series might be Justified. I've watched Justified like two or three times. I'm also a huge Seinfeld. As far as comedy goes, I'm a huge fan of anything Larry David, so Seinfeld or Curb Your Enthusiasm are both big, big hits for me. Heart of Kieran and Veraska's Contempt. Ooh. Yeah, look who did the art for Jaya. Yeah, this art's amazing too. Her her ability to work with like flames and smoke is insane. It's like it's very, very, it's very noticeable. Like it's very iconic. Um not iconic, not noticeable. Those aren't the words I'm looking for. It's very um I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I can't think of it right now. <clears throat> so one, two, heart of Kieran. Land of War Elf. Not under... Distinct. Distinct works, yeah. It's very distinct. Like, you can see it. I actually was looking for... I was doing some thumbnail art for um, for one of the YouTube videos. And I saw... It was it was some card. I forgot what the card was. But I was like... Oh, it was uh, Zahid. Jin of the Lamp, I think it, would, I think it is. The new 5-6 guy from Dominaria. 
And as soon as I saw it, because their colors are also super vivid, like they're very, very bright and, and there's a lot of contrast in our, in our art and it's fantastic and I, I love it to death. Um, so wait, hold on. Four, five, six, seven. This guy costs five. We're one shy. Ah, we're not shy if we actually crack this. We're so shy, shy. Hi, 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 Four cards, huh? Seven, eight, nine. We'll crew this guy. Oh, actually, we can crew it with creatures. We don't have to actually remove a loyalty. What are you doing? Oh, that's so rude. That hurts. That's hurtful. I thought we was for. I thought we was friends. All right, well done. Yeah, like look at this. Look at this. Look at this smoke on here. Look at this blue. It looks fantastic. It's so bright and vivid. And oh god, it's so good. I'm just a fan. She's great. Also, she did happen to send me a uh, a, Le a signed Leovold playmat. Which was amazing. Return it. Oh my god, this deck looks great. I don't know what I don't know what our opponent's doing, but I'm a real big fan of it. I don't want to see them combo off just because it means we lose, but I do want to see them combo off against someone else. Glimmer's pretty good. Alright, get back a little glimmer. So we can actually Vraska your your Morari conjecture, which is good, and then we can get back Vraska's contempt. And so Vraska can take care right now. Vraska herself can take care of both of these. Whew. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Don't do it. I think they might just be casting the glimmer. Yeah, that seems good. All right, I'm gonna pass here. I mentioned that playman I had with hand drawn Ron Spencer on it a couple of days ago when I went and found out this Matt had sm Oh my god, the Matt smudged? Oh god, that's the worst. Don't I don't put anything of value like that in storage though. That's just my that's my that's my lesson. I just don't want to be Because like there's humidity. Well I guess storage usually has um Storage usually has climate control, so that's not usually too big of an issue, but So I guess we're just fingers crossed they don't have negate. Oh, Sliver Queen fighting lightning dragon with squirrels fleeing in terror sounds amazing. We haven't seen a negate. We haven't seen any counter spells, so... Okay, that's fine. So we have one, two. If we crew with these, four, five, six, seven, so still five, one, two, three, four. We are one shy for doing that, so we're just going to attack here, I guess. All right, we can't do anything here. Oh, what? Did they just pass the... Oh, they have six the turn. That's pretty awkward. Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have cast their things. It's awkward because like by by like I by like playing not doing anything this turn, like then we like, oh here's your turn, I'll just give you your turn back like it never happened, but then they have an extra card in hand. Right? So like it's super hard to do that. You kinda of have to just accept that they like they skipped it, it happens. That's life.
Uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to crew with crew with people. One, two. Four. Oh, they got another braid. You got a braid number dose. We have five cards in hand. We know one is a Jaya. Dang it. This guy. This land. All right, well, we're going to attack for three here. Interesting. Rude. That's the rudest thing you could do. What? Why'd you gotta be so rude? All right, well, this is your turn. And we did it. All right, so we're bringing in all the things. Taking out the fatal pushes, don't need those. Negates can come in. Uh, Vraska Contempt, obviously, actually pretty good. Vile Offering, probably not great here. Um, they do have their... We'll take out the Rangers for Bronto Dons. So we have like seven counter spells now. That's a lot. That's a good amount. Is it, well, what is it? Is it a lot or is it a good amount? Uh, I didn't see any enchantments, right? Oh, Mirari Conjecture, but we have three Brontodons. We brought Brontodons in for those. I don't think we need Fatal Push. I don't care about Blossoming Defense that much. Muldrotha could be good. Let's us replay all the permanent types, but I mean, like, I'd rather play spells, so... More like Lebronto Don, because I don't know, I assume he's good at basketball. Yeah, that makes sense. I can see that. Whatever that means. What's our record with this deck so far? Is it 2 1? No, it's actually. Oh, it's actually. Well, this is the one we're in right now, I think. So, yeah, 2 1. Okay. I was actually going to close that, but I think that just closed Magic Online, so let's not do that. Bring in Maldrotha? I'll do it if you want me to. I'll take out the Galta for a Maldrotha. I'll take out the Galta for a Maldrotha. That's that's rap right. That's a uh, that's rhymes right there, bro. Uh, I don't know if this deck is worth taking to a GP yet. We're actually that's what we're doing. We're testing it for someone uh, for a deck critique. So that is it's hard to say it's hard to say if it's worth taking OGP just yet but I mean it's honestly it's it's fared pretty solidly so far but a lot of the matches we won we, we were able to get turn two Steel Leaf champions so it's pretty easy to win games when that happens fire bars I don't know what's going on right now I think you guys have taken this chat in a weird direction like a weird basketball direction Oh, we're so close. Look at this swamp taunting us, dude. You wanted to add a swamp, didn't you? I mean, this hand is still fine. If we any land, we get to keep, uh, we get to play a turn, turn three Karn. Any green land, any land comes into play. There's only one land, actually, that doesn't let us cast. The only land that doesn't let us cast champion on turn two is the other swamp in the deck. 
every other one does botanical sanctum um blooming marsh and the two wooded wooded ones the two woody boys how do I submit a deck for you? Chef Snake, check out my, my Twitch profile. The information's under uh, deck critique and draft stipulation. Stipulation drafts. There's a there's a panel for that. Oh, but of course, if you don't draw the uh, the land at all, well, then you just get wrecked. Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway. Marry that girl. What's that? You're gonna marry that girl? Marry her anyway? You don't even care? Okay, well, that's aggressive. Oof. Living the dream. Oh, they're not living the dream. They're, they're living the mist mana, mist land drop dream. I actually don't wanna play. Uh, I don't wanna play Steel Leaf Champion because I wanna keep up Blossoming Defense, but. So I'm actually going to Merfolk Branchwalker try to land here. We did it. Nailed it. And now we can crew it these two instead. And six you. I think we might be might be winning here. I sent sad face because like their deck is cool and I don't want to win games like this when I'm just trying to test. If I'm at a GP or a PT, like yeah, definitely I'll win games like this. <laughs> sure. There's pri there's ex there's like extensive prizes and qualifications on the line there, but in like a two man queue. Oh, oh, I hate when I'm typing and it just does that. It's the worst, dude. Anyway, all right. I don't even see, like, the thing is, like, after these matches, one of the things I've noticed, which which I think makes the deck seem reasonable, is that I don't feel like anything needs to be changed, really. I'm never like, oh, no, I don't like this. We need to change this. We need to change that. Like, I think the deck is actually faring pretty well. I think this Yawgmoth's Vile Offering is pretty sweet. I think we have enough, uh, enough legendaries for it. I'm a little iffy on the three crushing canopies and three brontodons. I'm not a huge fan of that because that's just a lot of things. Like, I don't think we're that terrified of Lyra. <laughs> I think we can actually take this guy out. I think I think five ways to deal with enchantments is more than enough. Um, I'm also wondering if... Like what I want, what you want is ways to deal with artifacts. So Bronzedon's probably the better choice, but um, uh, I don't think we want no swamps now. We do have we do have double Vraska's contempt. I think two swamps is a reasonable risk. Well, what, what I'm I'm trying to figure out what I would replace them with. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take them out and then leave them like that. Like that's the whole point of the 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 deck critique. Um, I would actually put this other Brontodon on the sideboard, and now you just keep them here. Because there are matches where this guy's just not better than... Like, Jade Light Ranger on the, in the main deck is just better. Um, this is... With only 23 lands, I don't think this is a deck that wants more 6 drops. Also, in Bullis' Clutches is a cute pet card for me. I like the card a lot because I like Confiscate effects, and uh, I think it's a cool one of. But I wouldn't actually recommend it to other people if they're trying to play, like, a serious deck. Um, I personally would play it because I think it's I think it's cool, but if I'm actually trying to uh, to competitiveize someone's deck, I probably would be less I would be less inclined to suggest that to them. Oh, I like I like Tefri. That's actually a good suggestion. Say so you're insta banned. I don't care if you're a mod. You're not a mod. Okay, you should be. All right, let's try one more. I like naturalize a lot, but I, I also like the the ability to get rid of Elyra because our, our our removal isn't that um varied. Like we have Fatal Push, which doesn't do it. So we have two Vraska's Contempt in the main deck, one Yogmoth's Vile Offering to get rid of Lyra. So I mean, I think that getting rid of a flying creature is relevant. Oh, I'm like looking at this hand like I don't know what to do. I'm keeping it one thousand percent of the time. 
If you're not playing turn one Land of War Elf into turn two Steel Leaf Champion, what are you doing with your life? Oh, did we enter the Brawl queue? Is that why they pay, played Barrel on turn one? Turn two? B in question mark? What are you saying right now? I think Jai's Immolating Inferno would show up the bad matchups. On the bright side, I have several of those that we can just put in the deck. So, let's hop to it. Oh, they just put my guy back. That's sad. Well, now we know we're going to hit it with Jade Light Ranger, right? Because it's a second from the top. Yeah, we're just going to Jade Light Ranger here. Because our lands aren't coming to play tapped, unfortunately, so. And. Oh! Steel Leaf Overseer. Champion. Steel Leaf Overseer Champion. I will put you on top both times. We'll play Woodland Cemetery because we have double black cards and we do not have double blue cards. One, two, three. And also, if we draw an untapped land... Well, we're not going to draw that. We, we know what we're going to draw, so... Oh, look at your Mox Amber. Your Mamber, if you will. Mopals and Mambers. Wow. Wow. What is even happening right now? If I kill this guy, are we just in really good shape? Do we just want to get rid of this guy? I feel like he's really... Like, it shuts off their Mox Amber. He feels like a really relevant card for their deck, so... Oh, I like how you use the Ampersand for Band. Bam band. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. It's a stretch, but I'll give it to you. I appreciate it. Did they hit anything? Did they whiff? Puts no cards into their hand. This time you'll get something. You'll get it this time. You got an inspiring statuary. This is still turned off, right? Deal. I like it. Oh, I can kill one of your little birds. Which sounds a lot more dark than it really is. Because they're, they're digital birds. They're digital cardboard birds. Scrub. <laughs> hey, buddy, my chat called you a scrub for your mismatched lands. GTFO, okay? This guy. It's probably hard of Kieran, right? Next time we play Branch Walker, and uh, I don't care about your stupid birds. Hey, buddy, I don't even care about your stupid birds. Hey, look, I knew you had that. Sure. Sure. You have one card in hand, huh? I don't think it's your combo piece. One, two, one, two, three. So here's the thing. I think we just play... I think we still play Branch Walker here. Actually, we can play Karn. And it lets us crew anyway, so... It's gonna let us crew anyway. Money than good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, buddy, I don't even care about your stupid birds. That's a good quote. Juposhi, I appreciate that one, buddy. That is a solid... That is a solid quotation. Marry those birds. Marry them anyway. Boom, 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 boom. Is Paradox Cloud come as the cost? Is it part of the cost to do that? It also costs four, right? Like, they don't have the mana to do that. Oh, they got, they got the Convoke. Yeah, they do have it.
So you draw five and you get a bunch of stupid things. Orn, Orn, Glint, Mox, Map. Okay, sounds good. I didn't know quote list was a thing. Holy smokes. Wow, that's amazing. I had no idea you could do that, David. Does I have 10 cards in hand? All right. What was the other card they didn't give us? Thank Woodland you. Cemetery. Aliens for real. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. Wow. All right, so we got Orn, Orn, Amber. I always feel like this deck is not good, but it also I always also always feel like I'm gonna die to it. So what does that mean? I met you once, Nolan Nassar. Repel yeah, Nolan's awesome. Nolan's a great dude. Oh, you're gonna bounce all of my threats. That's cool. What do you cast for free? I don't know. Is there a command list? No. Okay. What a com list. No. I really want a list of my commands. I wonder if if Dan Bobes, Bobes has that going on. Oh my god, I found one. Oh my god. That's amazing. I don't even know what's going on in this game. I just got so excited by the command list and the other thing, so. Well, that dude's absolutely humongous. They have three cards in hand and nothing exciting on board, huh? I think that quote's supposed to be... Isn't it supposed to be supple as my eggs, not subtle as my eggs? Because that doesn't make any sense. I don't care about the woodland thing. Jade Light Ranger. What is eggs? <laughs> what does eggs do? Oh, oh, wow, that's great. That's that's fantastic. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, that's incredible, dude. I had no idea that existed. David, you are... A pioneer, my friend. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana, which is not a lot. I'm going to Jade Light Ranger here first. Because if we can hit a land that comes into play on tap, that'd be nice. That is not it, but I'm pretty sure we're just keeping that. All right. This guy is unblockable. So... We can't Bronto on the Saturate because we have a Bronto Don. They're all on the sideboard. Do they have another one? Oh my god, another paradoxical outcome. Oh, just a reverse engineer, that's all. God, so many cards, dude. Yeah, you guys are getting a little crazy with the with the with the quotes here. Oh, 
Uh, three for a three four. What would I want? Four three for a three mana. That could also draw us two lands. I think this is better in more matchups. And we can only have so many three drops in a green deck. Did they just? Huh. Well then. Well, why not both? I just said, I just literally answered that because we can only have so many three drops in a green deck. You can't have 12 three drops in a green deck. Or in, in any deck, really. I don't know why I said the green deck. Green deck is not relevant. These get trample. Just flying, right? So they go block, 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 block. So they got block, 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 block. They can't block this guy. I wish we could have two pump spells. That'd be pretty sweet. We do have a syncopate, which is pretty nice. I guess we could just actually pass and keep up syncopate. Yeah, I feel like revealing here is just better. Oh, double Vraska was the hit? Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess we'll get a Vraska. Oh, stinkerinos. They have six cards in hand? My god. I mean, I don't think that... I guess we can actually kill the statuary, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. But we don't get to keep up Counterspell at that point. And they have six cards. Wait, was it not two Vraskas? It was Jaylight Ranger in a forest? Okay, well, I guess that's completely different then. So they go to three. So they have to block one, two, three. They have to block all three of those guys. If we Nissa for eight. All right, it was not double Vraska, I guess. But I don't think Vraska really did anything for us anyway, so. I mean, I could just double attack. We're not going to win this turn. We can't win this turn, apparently. Flying and haste. Eh, this is fine. <laughs> yeah, the pizza tower is pretty good. It's pretty amazing. I'll discard Botanical Sanctum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. It's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we do tap them out if we do this. So I'm going to do that.
Jesus, you post you, dude. All right, well. You have to either win or get rid of this guy. So this is where they go, Aether Flux Reservoir. There you go. All right, we did it. <laughs> they did it. Everyone did it. I just found an ant crawling at my monitor, which gives me, uh, makes me feel real uncomfortable. Because this house has, has had many issues with ants before. Could just be one stray ant, which is fine, but that's rarely the case. What do they have, 26 life? I don't think we can win this game anymore. I'm going to go to the next one and bring in all the things that we have that deal with artifacts. All right. All the Brontodons coming in for the Jade Light Rangers. All the Negates coming in for Vile Offering and the Vraska's Contempts because they have basically no targets. Fatal Push. Could be fine. Thank you. Knight of Sticks, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Just made it into the stream to see a Karn on the board and thought you had actually drafted one that I realized was standard and got sad. You and me both. I think this is fine. So like sometimes like there's a bunch of ants and you just can't see them because your eyes haven't really adjusted to them. So you gotta like focus on an area to see if anything moves. It's really ants are weird. So now I'm like trying to look around to see if there's any ants anywhere else that I'm just missing because my eyes have not adjusted to them. I will play first. I'll keep it because it's a tiller. It's still not terrible. Like, if we draw a land next turn, it's great. We can go double elf or branch walker, which is cool, but. But we did not do that. So now we're just going to go elf and pass. Yeah, this is not going to be the. Um, this is not going to be the hand that gets there, I don't think, unfortunately. Well, that was a good draw. Where they blink. How about they syncopate for one? Is that what's going to happen here? Don't syncopate for one. Do, 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 do. Thanks for the songs that remind us of the good times and the songs that remind us of the better times. Juposhi, anytime, buddy. That's what I'm here for. Maybe this is the match we win. I don't know.
Oh, Danny boy. Put you to five here. That's pretty gas. Now I'm like examining my monitor closely to make sure there's no other ants on it. Like maybe they're coming from the inside and oh my god, who who knew? this was not the hand I thought we were going to win the game with. Also barrel's pretty obnoxious. So maybe we do want another fatal push in the deck. I don't actually think I like Nissa here just because she's uh, a little slow considering like they also have a ton of floating blockers that they just don't care about. This hand's pretty rough. We're gonna ship this hand. For better days, I'll keep this hand and hope there's a land on top. You have to go to the bottom, good sir. They went to five though. That's good for the combo deck. It's good against the combo deck, I should say. You should say that. All right, here we go. Oh, I took a gamble too, and it seemed to work out well for me. Nah, like that's not a gamble. Mulling to five is rough. Um, I'm going to actually keep this on the top for now, because it lets us counter anything. Having Jersey Mike's for lunch, shout out to Mike B. Nice, nice. Variances from the French. All right, we're just going to play this guy because, good lord, why wouldn't we? Everybody's having a good time. <laughs> well, they can have it back. <laughs> oh, this guy is not a fun card, dude. This is a. This card is oppressive because there's no, like, a Grasp of Darkness dismember type card in the format. Um, So all you have is, like, Fatal Put. All you have is, like, Cast Down. And also. It can't be fatal pushed very easily, so. Oh, fashionably late to the party, I see. Do we even care? Five, six, seven, eight. We do want to put one more threat on the board because this is uh, not lethal. And I think we're actually fine to do that. We'll just play bron big bronze. All right. Well, that that was pretty good. What was our record? Four four one. I think it was four one. All right. So yeah, ultimately, I think this deck is sweet. Like it's it's very much like the mono green stompy deck because of land war elves and ramping into a sweet three drop. But it's got enough of a difference that it's basically just a cool salty deck with scarab god Vraska, uh, Vraska's contempt and Karn. Um, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the Nissa here just because I don't think she really does that much. But I also don't know what I'd put in her place either. Uh, maybe a second Blossoming Defense. That could be good because these guys, if you can just keep these guys on board and protect them, I think it's pretty good. I also like three Heart of Kirin because I think four is actually too many. You just clog your hand up with Heart of Kirins. And um, yeah, I, I think this I think this deck looks sweet. Um, I would have liked to... Uh, actually, I, wasn't, I don't even know what I was going to say there. I don't think I would have liked to do anything. I, I, I would have liked to have more things that I could change about it or things that I could critique. 
but uh, it worked out pretty well. I mean, I think as just like a mid rangey Sultai kind of like aggressive kind of Planeswalker deck, it works out pretty well. So, I mean, Jake, I hope that's good enough. I mean, like, I hate to, I hate this. I wish I had more changes, but the deck actually seemed pretty sweet. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to check out uh, my Patreon page to show me some support, you can do that. Link's in the description. And also, if you're interested in having your deck critiqued, you can check out my Twitch profile. I have information there. But uh, otherwise, yeah, thanks for the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.